we're seeing a beautiful trend of increasing gifts. When I look into the first quarter of this year, I received, I received 6,500 euros in gifts. The second quarter, I made the step to fully live in the gift. I received 15,000 and now we're at 27,000 euros. morning friends oh what I'm holding here in my hands is the financial report of the second quarter of 2024 it's early October so let's dive into the numbers all right let's dive in the second quarter of 2024 mark the moment where we can really say the gift economy is working. Let's check that out. Over the past three months, July, August, September 2024, I received an inflow of money of 32,000 euro. And from these 32,000 euro, only five and a half thousand were coming from regular business, aka I'm selling things and I'm getting money in return and more than 27,000 euro were gifts. <laughs> when we compare that to the second quarter of this year, this is almost double the amount of gifts. And these gifts were able to cover all the outflow of almost 11,000 euro of repayments of people who are still um, in a negative, a negative state in regards to our Thrive Village past, who invested into the vision and whom I slowly repay month after month. 3,400 went into team costs, 4,000 euro into other business expenses, 7,000 euro covered my private life and one of my loved ones and 7,000 euro were used for building custodia for the first for the first initial costs for on the site that means <sighs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single person who gifted one euro or a hundred or a thousand or five thousand only because of your contribution is all this possible. And I can tell you, this feels completely different than earning 27,000 from selling something. It feels even different than earning 270,000 from selling something. I did that in the past. It feels completely different. It feels like a huge gift from the universe, from well-meaning people who care about me, who value my gifts that I put out there into the world. Only because of you, all of this is possible. That we are building Custodia, that I'm slowly repaying all the people that invested into our first attempt of building community, the team and everything else. I could not be more grateful. So yeah. We're seeing a beautiful trend of increasing gifts. When I look into the first quarter of this year, I, rece I received 6,500 euros in gifts. This was when I just started on transitioning into the gift economy. In the second quarter, I made the step to fully live in the gift. I received 15,000 and now we're at 27,000 euro in gifts. And I know this is a result of me putting everything out there of me stepping fully into trust of giving my gifts away be it in our first cohort in Poland Custodia Poland I gifted myself for three weeks like full-on intense setting I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coachings I'm doing group uh, group settings I wrote a book and I gifted all of that away 
and I invited people to sense what they feel the urge to gift in return. And when I checked the numbers of the past quarter, 27,000 euro in inflowing gifts is a statement. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And this only motivates me to continue on this path <sighs> and to be a beacon of inspiration for each and every one. And I received so many messages from people who are saying, wow, I resonate with your path of the gift and it feels super scary and I don't know if I can do it because I have bills to pay and I have dreams to realize. And to all those out there, I can say, I'm doing the same and I'm doing it anyway. I'm stepping into trust. I'm following the path of my heart. And the more time passes, the more the numbers prove that this is a viable path. Hmm. Onwards. Good meeting, meeting session at home. Talking about the bathroom and the kitchen and the tent interior and many, many things. And now, ready to tackle the next challenges. Just woke up from my second nap today. Yesterday I started sleeping polyphasically again. A lot of time, a lot of space for what is going on right now. And now we're meeting with Nia to dive deeper into the water problem. Because as it turned out yesterday, the spring that we wanted to connect to doesn't carry enough water. <laughs> to be precise, no water. Somewhere we need to get water from. <laughs> and we don't want it to be from a truck. So let's, let's figure that out. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, looks like we're not prepared, huh? <laughs> yeah. How are you? Why are you using like that? We go to the jungle now. We will? Yeah, yeah. because the, the place is in the jungle. Okay. We will walk in. Yeah. You must buy a boot shoes. Look at my shoes, Nia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have the proper dress and shoes. We're gonna walk into the jungle for 20 or 30 minutes and check the spring where apparently no water is coming now to see what the issue is and if it's possible to fix it because somewhere we need to get water from. <laughs> And as it turned out, it's not allowed to drill here. So to build our own well, we can't do that in this area, apparently. Um, and if the spring is not working, and we don't want to get the, the water delivered by, by trucks all the time, which is a no-go. Only rainwater harvesting will be left, but yeah, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you cannot climb, uh, you cannot put your hand in the, in the trees, like this one, Robert. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Don't put your, it will be very slippery. We can jump, Nia. Yeah. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no today. No today. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow. We go tomorrow. Go tomorrow. <laughs> Just jump there, jump there to that stool. Jump it there? Yeah, to that stool. This one you can bring it. Yeah, uh -huh. is it nice? But why is there no water coming? Because here is the water. Does it get lost on the way? Or? Uh, this is because of the rain last night, so the water is more bigger. 
But yeah, at the at the land or at, at the, the land? land, there's no water, no water. Because coming. this is below by the the all. Now we will, when we go down, we will check that one. You mean <coughs> it's broken somewhere? No, no. It's a flow uh, by the all the go to the peak and then oh, in the, yeah, okay. they're oh. stuck. Okay. But if they're like frequently coming, uh, are leaves in there? This cannot be like a reliable water source for us because sometimes working, sometimes not working. Yeah, yeah. We need like the water working. <laughs> All right, let's go back. It was not successful. You saw the tank. It's yeah. <laughs> it should it should serve five houses with water before ours. There's like a little little plastic pipe that's filling up the first tank and then the overflow is going to the second and the third and the fifth and the fourth and the fifth. And yeah, we're not very optimistic then this that this can be a reliable water source. So the search continues. We need to find something else. Yeah? Yeah. Water in there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it is. And we can get it, he said. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. yeah. There's water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's water. Tomorrow, I think. What is the Einspeisung, right? Mm -hmm. We can connect in here, I think. We connect in here, and uh, but with stop run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can get in here and just temporarily, just on the road. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. At home. Oh. A uh, long and intense day. <laughs> Things are not sm flowing super smoothly at the moment. And uh, that's part of the process, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Saying yes to everything that is is the invitation at the moment. Yeah. Thank you for today's journey. Yes, I see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> if you wanna be a part of what we're doing here. The applications for Custodia cohort number three in January twenty twenty five have just opened. And I'll link the deck with all further information for you guys. Second court in December is at full capacity. Less than two months until our first custodians will gather here on the land, will grow, will transform, will create, will deepen their own embodiment. Super looking forward to that. And this deadline, like, that's looming. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Not just on, on on the horizon, but really in front of our faces, and this is what like creates a certain amount of pressure, and at the same time, it activates the the best inside myself to make it happen. Yes, it's a very worthwhile challenge <laughs> that I accept wholeheartedly. Yes, third cohort in January. Applications are open. Looking forward. If you feel the resonance to explore what might be possible here. In the meantime, see you guys tomorrow.